subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we are back in the tiny town of Round Top, Texas for cellar shopping and Southern hospitality. This antique show was started in 1968 by Emily Turney over 55 years ago. And here we are today to discover some more treasures together. Join me. Welcome to Round Top, Texas, population 87. This town was founded by German immigrants and it's very well known today because of the Antiques Fair where you can shop antiques from all over the world along 11 miles of scenic Texas highway. There's so much to discover. You could come every day during the show and still not even see half of it. It's always a great destination place, especially if you're coming from Houston or Austin, and you might even meet some friends and neighbors here. I did meet lots of viewers. And now we will step into Zap Hall. This is traditionally my first stop because I know I can find some beautiful finds, table settings, and almond silver is here. They used to be on the square and round top, and now they've moved to Zap Hall and they repurpose silver plated flatware and create amazing jewelry, decorative pieces, and even some tabletop essentials. It's always great to see them. And I know several of you have reached out to them. You saw them in the previous segment and I know they appreciate your business. Money clips, if you're looking for a men's gift, of course, lots of Texas items. This is a company out of Arkansas. Look what you can do with a quarter. Isn't that fun? And some of their latest designs, they sold some to viewers just before I walked up. And that's part of probably a knife, could even be a fork and a spoon. And look at these treasures. During the Houston rodeo season, this would be popular. I think they need to exhibit at the rodeo. Cowboy Up for $65. That is a fantastic piece. And they even take teapots and coffee pots along with flatware and make beautiful silver plated bouquets. There's such creativity that goes into this and it's family owned business. Just love supporting them and appreciate their creativity. So many different uses, whether it's decorative or purposeful, including an essential in our home. Look at this, all from repurposed vines. Glad to find Almond Silver. They are located next to Zap Hall. They have moved from Round Top. I got my husband a back scratcher last visit and it's one of his favorite things. Two popular new introductions this year, the coin ring and the cowboy ring. Always lots to discover. Look in the video description for Almond Silver and how you can contact them if there's something that you just have to have that you've seen in the video. Just love all the clever details. You would think that that maybe is some gift wrap ribbon, but that's actually silver as well that you see. Wouldn't this be an interesting gift for someone who has everything? I think this might be in my future, especially a wind chime. There were so many things of interest here. And I thought about taking one home to Germany, but it is a bit on the heavy side to put in my suitcase. But maybe next season I will pick one up and take it to our home. Look at the tulip. I'm thinking of my friends in the Netherlands. They would adore this wind chime. So much to discover in Round Top and Warrington, of course. My friend Michelle bought one of these posy vases for her mother last year, and she 
uses it, keeps it in her kitchen window. Come along with me into Zap Hall and let's discover some treasures together. The last visit they had some amazing table settings. Vintage Christmas is all the rage here in Round Top Warrington. Wouldn't that be beautiful for your front porch? There are lots of exciting and inviting tables here. Can't wait to give you an in-depth look. And of course, some vintage Christmas. The Santa mugs are nostalgic. And there's so much you could do with these. Even with just one, you could hand pour a candle in it, place some peppermint sticks inside. Mid-century barware is all the rage. Joyous Noel, $25. These are fantastic. A fall setting with the olive stemware. You'll notice those warm tones with the brass. And they're so creative. This is actually a viewer who has this area at Zap Hall, and I'm always impressed with her table settings. Mid-century glasses. You'll see the sheet music underneath. Fantastic. We definitely get some great ideas. Just unbelievable the work that goes into this. They are here for two weeks and you would think that they have a permanent showroom. Christmas is upon us and look at all the details here and they have a book underneath that serves as a sort of plate charger. And the Royal Stafford Christmas plates are lovely. $95 for the set. Love the mid-century. The honeycomb glasses. I've seen these in the golden color. I like the ruby. And the ceramic studio are all of our moms made these trees. Great centerpiece. The vintage touches really make this table special. And of course, they're keeping it rustic in Texas as well. You would think of the Franciscan Desert Rose as more of a spring or summer pattern, but here mixing it with the mid-century Christmas, there are so many possibilities. Look at all those special touches. The floral plates, reticulated, a simple centerpiece, very impressive. And the beds are dressed. Isn't that neat? Very rustic look. Shopping Round Top is just an incredible experience. And I call it Round Top because it is really um, some different towns that are in that area. This spode pattern is fantastic. The bridal rose was made from 1932 to 1975. And they placed this plate on top of a book. The pink satin glass goblets, $96 for the set. These would be fantastic with even an aqua blue. Those Whitehall blue glasses are fun. And the canary yellow lends itself to so many different colors. I think that would pair well with just about anything, including this setting with a creative centerpiece. You will notice the individual baking forms. I can imagine filling this with fairy lights quite clever with a rustic look and the ruby glasses are perfect for this setting and the plate toppers also were made using those tins. Tiffin Franciscan made some very heavy glasses in the Madeira pattern made from 1970 to 1979 and the original prototypes were almost three pounds. Botanica from Villarin Bach a fall setting. Botanica would blend very nicely with this as well. And that picture is quite special. I love all the different pairings here. You'll notice there's texture as well. And the smoky glasses. It's definitely a mid-century plate. Even the cutlery is rustic. Now we'll visit Charles Keaton. He is a dealer from San Antonio. He does estate sales and also has some shops in antique malls. You can never have enough linens and it, the price is right with these vintage pieces. 
You can get nice sets of napkins, table runners, tablecloths, even handkerchiefs if you collect those. $10.99 and everything he sells is 20% off. That grape pattern you see often in vintage and I think it's quite nice for the fall especially. And this would be a wonderful kitchen tablecloth. $15 less 20%. And for the holidays, this would really kind of go into January as well with the winter look. And for St. Patrick's Day, we've got a cloth as well. You can do lots of digging here. And this is a new tent that Charles Keaton has. We'll visit his other shop just across the way. I like this set of napkins. And the blue and white has my attention. It's never been used. I quite like that. Have some ideas in mind. With the original tag and embroidered in Korea. A great deal on linens. You could have a set of 14 napkins for $3.99 or this embroidered piece. And it's new with tags, 50 cents. This could be a nice tray liner. So many different purposes for these linens. Hats and handbags await. Many of these are from the mid-century. And you will notice some of them are heavily decorated. And we will even see one Enid Collins, an original. And her bags were decorated with paint, sequins, rhinestones, and lots of unique embellishments. This Enid Collins is $58.99, of course, 20% off. The bonnet purse for $45. You can also find the tags inside that will confirm. It's an Enid Collins. Transferware. There are just stacks and stacks of dishes. There was one lady that probably had 30 plates she walked away with. Burgenland from Villora and Boch. That's my pattern, but a different color. In the red. They originally made it red, green, blue, and even brown. A Johnson Brothers saucer. My friend Michelle inherited this from her mother in law. Old English countryside and that is ironstone. Such fun patterns. Of course, we've talked extensively on the channel about the history of transferware. And this is my pattern, the Burgerland Blue, or Blau as they call it in German. It's from the 1980s, looking at the back stamp. Stacks of transferware. Josiah Spode is credited with creating the transferware process in 1781 and is still popular today. Wouldn't he be amazed? I even found my Burgenland blue pattern from Villeroy and Bach. You definitely find quirky, whimsical items as well as classic pieces. This large brass ewer is from Mexico. $165. That could be just the thing to finish your setting. You never know if you've got a grand scale home and you're looking for something to make a statement. And shoppers even have items shipped home as well. There are some services on site. These antlers even work well in a table setting. Believe it or not, I have used these. $22. That's a good price. Of course, you get the discount with Charles Keaton. You could definitely create a rustic look, even if you have a traditional setting. Look at this Chinese vase. You could definitely call that chinoiserie. It is two pieces, striking colors. And they also have a perfect pair of Italian vases, $95 for the set. I like those colors. Very classic look. I can see this on a front porch. Wonderful planters. Outdoor furniture. And those wonderful toll trays. Now we're going to go across the way to his original tent. He's constantly adding to things because they sell very quickly. These candle holders are fantastic. $58 for the pair. Look at the prisms. Oh, those are fabulous. I could really dress up a table. There's so much to see. I tend to focus 
on several areas at Round Top, but I try to branch out a bit, but I wanted to come back to Charles Keaton this year and show you what he's got for $95, this American Brilliant Pitcher. As you know from a previous segment at High Street Antiques in Dallas, that was a status symbol. Beautiful cut glass. Lots of vintage pieces and some true antiques with this porcelain, and that's the Imari from Booths. Made in England, oh, fantastic. Just having one piece could add some interest. Beautiful back stamp of the semi-porcelain and the floral pattern. Look at the Copeland India Tree Creamer for $15. Beautiful back stamp. Love the shape of that. Copeland Spode made some fantastic pieces. Here's another look at that Imari and the wonderful picture. And you can see the things that I'm interested in, but I didn't take these home today. Anna Lee. You probably have seen this on the channel before. I found some at Still Good Consignments and some other charity resales. It's a really interesting history. Started in 1934 in Meredith, New Hampshire. $24.99, which is a fair price. Of course, you get the 20% off. One way to identify the Anna Lee is look at the tags. And the last two numbers of the SKU would indicate the year it was made. Mr. and Mrs. Claus, those are fantastic pieces. They are enormous. $250 for the pair, less your discount, is a very good price to make a holiday statement in your home. The reindeer. Annalie was also known for mice. Their motto was a mouse for every house in the 1970s. Vintage ornaments. Oh, these are such fun to do a tree all in the 1950s and 60s. Love the aqua. The satin ornaments too, I remember from probably the early 70s. Here are some bejeweled handmade ornaments. Lots to discover here for a vintage Christmas. And this is a kissing ball. You'll see the mistletoe at the base. Fun, fun. I just love all the touches, especially when you find true vintage pieces. Someone worked very hard on this. And that, I think, is for Christmas cards. Lots of crystal vintage glass, including a rare item that I don't see too often in the lavender pressed glass. From Heisey, the sugar bowl is $14.99. And here's a sweet bowl that was made by Waterford Crystal. That's a real fine for $16.99, less the discount. This was part of their giftology collection. It was called the Thank You Bowl. You'll see that tulip, and I think that will go to a special friend in the Netherlands. And there's the Waterford logo. That's an incredible deal. Here's the footed bud vase from Waterford. This is an older piece, $39.50, which is a fair price. This sold for $125 in the 90s. You see that Gothic print there on the acid etch stamp? That is classic Waterford. Here is a wonderful gift opportunity for $10.99, less the 20% candy dish. These pictures are fantastic. I like the interesting shapes, and this one from Germany is square. An offset shape. I love it. You could fill that with flowers. $28. It's a true antique. And that would be more of a soft paste porcelain. Classic white is always in season. And this is from Rosenthal in the Sans Souci pattern. Such detail. I see the Fastoria American round cake stand. We all love that one. And an unusual find with an invalid feeder for $18.99. Isn't that fantastic? It's really not something you see too often. 
It's before they had bendy straws too. Of course you may have put a soup in that, not just a beverage. Flow Blue. And I will tell you that there are dealers that shop here with Charles Keaton and Warrington and then they move it back to their antique shops. So you too could shop with the dealers. Delft, of course we love collecting this from Holland. Hand painted in that classic blue and white. Flow blue. We've talked extensively about the history of this, the different eras. Beautiful back stamp. Made in Bursalem. Russian nesting dolls. I know these are collectible. I wonder if you might have these in your collection. I did pick up some Santa nesting dolls at an estate sale in Nashville, Tennessee. You might remember that from the channel. Majolica. We learned a lot about the history at a recent visit to Nothing Ordinary Antiques in Belleville, Texas, which is not too far from Round Top. This is made in Sweden. That would be an interesting addition to your Majolica collection. I hope you take a look at that video. There's lots to see and learn there. Nothing ordinary. And now we'll take a trip to Blue Hills where we find a lot of French antiques. This is where the high rollers shop. There is an on-site shipping company and you certainly want to bring your checkbook. This is definitely not your average $10 item that you find. A different type of buyer would shop here. You can always find something interesting and maybe even affordable. $59 for this vintage box. I'm sure at that time no one imagined it would be in an antique store or antiques fair. This old medicine cabinet is rustic and I'm thinking there's a great market for it. It's $2,795. This is from the Cotton Shed at Blue Hills. They do a wonderful job of merchandising everything, presenting it. You could have a three-piece velvet sectional for just under 3000 And a lot of things said sold. It goes very quickly. And now let's pop into the French Renaissance and see some of their furnishings. Such amazing talent that goes into refurbishing these pieces. You'll see some hand painting. They keep it interesting. This could go in just about any room in the house from about 1820 to 1880. And there seems to be quite a demand for French furnishings. And we will also discover some ways that they present it. They've altered some of these pieces and they're quite interesting. I'm also learning a lot today about bleached furniture. We'll talk about that in just a bit. And it definitely fits within the Texas rustic style. Louis Quinze buffet and walnut from about 1850 to 1880. It's got an interesting copper top on it as well, which I doubt that was original. It definitely fits with the Texas look. From the 19th century, the Netherlands, walnut and zinc. It's really like shopping a fabulous antique furniture store, especially when you think about the temporary two week period that they are here at Blue Hills. And there are lots of shoppers. And they are filling their homes a lot of folks come from Austin, of course, Houston as well. Henry II and Walnut. And you'll see that they've taken off the varnish. It certainly is hard for me to appreciate that because I am more of a traditionalist. But I know it works well in some homes. This piece would be great for storage. Also Louis Quinze and Walnut. And this buffet is a grander scale. You can see the size of it and great storage. You could fit lots of dinner plates there. Wish I had space for this. Or a library that this could go into. Just love it. 
Of course, you need the stairs as well. And this one is definitely something that's been altered. And we'll visit with another furniture seller and I will tell you a bit more about this. And of course, these have all been imported from France. And this company has Florida, Georgia, and Texas covered. Round Top is not all about the vintage china, crystal, and silver. We're at Blue Hills. They have lots of fine French antiques, many from the 1700s. Let's take a look at this shop. French Blue. It is really a neat shopping experience to think about. You're in the middle of nowhere, and here you have everything at your fingertips. And as mentioned, they will ship it home for you. And they've even got a zebra. You definitely find the unusual. This came from a private collector. I don't know the story behind it other than that. I'm simply sharing this with you. This reminds me of Burberry. Isn't that interesting how they've repurposed this? Very clever and it has sold. Of course, they would import these over and have them painted, I'm sure, here to their specifications. This is a gorgeous piece. I personally would prefer it with the original finish. Not liking the kind of bleached look, but it's got to go with your environment. And if that's what works for you, why not? Here's an overview. So much to discover, and these I thought were really neat. The pair, of course, with the blue and cream, that's right up my alley. And they told me the price is 68, and I think that means 6,800. I'm sure it's not $68, but they offered to make me a deal for 55. I'm sure 5,500. And here's the style number. If they haven't sold and you're interested, I'm sure they could ship them for you. Some great storage. There's so much furniture. I especially like the blue there in the background. And here they have really made it sort of a Texan look with a turquoise color on the handles and hardware. I can really see this fitting with a country home. Absolutely, or in the hill country. And of course they know their market. I like that gilt mirror. And this is the navy that I really like. That almost reminds me of about the 1930s with the brass and marble top. This would be my speed right here if I were going to have furniture that was painted. I just love finding English furniture in the middle of nowhere in Texas. This seller has some of my favorites. The pie crust table, you'll see those barley twist legs. And they're actually located in Anderson, Texas, Magnolia Horse Traders. 300 for the barley twist. So they haven't had quite as far to travel as some of these folks. And I'm glad they're not too far from Houston in case I need a barley twist table. And now let's walk in and see some of their wonderful pieces of furniture. I like the Demi Loon. That's not something you see often in Barley Twist for 725. There's definitely a trend of bleached furnishings, especially those that have carvings and Barley Twist. It goes with a rustic Texas look with an upscale design. And it also ties in with mid-century because it is a similar wood tone. And this involves removing the varnish from these beautiful furnishings. I would love to hear your thoughts on this bleached furniture. It's definitely on trend. And of course it blends with the rustic seaside farmhouse in mid-century. But I am a traditionalist and I much prefer the original varnish and uh, the darker woods. This carved oak big case is 2800. That's a fantastic piece. And this is burled wood with a barley twist. They have such an incredible variety. 1975 for this chest. It's mahogany. 
This desk has been bleached. Some great pottery pieces. It's 1350 for the carved barley twist desk. And there's a closer look at that bleaching. Of course, we're proud of the flags that have flown over Texas. And just jam-packed with furnishings. It's a great opportunity to have a one-stop shopping experience here. That's a neat table with a marble top. 1650 and it is from France. It's a Louis Cez. Just love it. And Barley Twist with the twist. Look at this. It's a game table. And then, of course, you turn it the other direction. That's a nice surprise. Oh, yes. That would be great in a study. Such detail there in the design. And you can even put your cards there. Nice little hideaway. And this set is on my wish list. I absolutely adore it. Let's take a look. So you have several tables in one. It's almost like a TV tray. Maybe that's the purpose of it. I quite like that. And it's not something I've seen before, I have to say. Those pheasants are perfect on a fireplace, on a mantle. Let's see how much this set is. 2,800 for the nesting tables, and it's got four pullouts. I'm thinking that really could be more of a vintage or antique TV tray. This oval table is fantastic. Look at the gate leg. Oh, I just love it. Storage drawer. It's perfect. And I'm pleased to tell you that I brought this back to Houston for a friend who has been looking for a gate-like table and she is over the moon thrilled to have it. I have now delivered it to her and a fantastic deal. There's the gate leg. This is a fantastic buy. It is from the 1930s, a gate leg table priced at $225. And it's called gate leg because you simply close this part and it's great for storage or simply putting it against the wall if you don't need the whole table expanded. A fantastic deal and it even comes with a pull-out drawer. You can store cutlery or napkins. I'm picking this up for a friend. And I'm finding some smaller items here. It's always worth going into a tent because you might find a deal, something you've been looking for even a great gift. And we are approaching Christmas. There's nothing wrong with shopping the tents and the fields for an item that is under $5. Found a wonderful piece of stoneware here in Warrington under the tent. It's a windy day and that has brought me some luck. For $1.50, I'm taking home this German Steingut stoneware made by Mazzi und Remi. It's got a beautiful back stamp with that M and R. This is a company that started in Germany in 1883 and they ceased production in 1994. This is a great deal. These candle holders are fantastic. And that beautiful aquamarine color, it's like a gemstone. I don't have this color and I see so many possibilities. These Fostoria Baroque candle holders are fantastic in that wonderful shade of blue. This was meant for a console set. So in the center, you would have a bowl, maybe even a draped lady inside. These are priced at $22 for the pair, and maybe I can get a better deal. Let's see. I bought several items, and she offered me the pair of candle holders for $10. And now I'm placing some holiday bobesh on top, and you can see how the blue works very well with the red. That gives me some ideas. And I'll tell you more about the purpose of using these. This mold is interesting, quite vintage, $65. This, at first glance, I thought it was Picard, but it's actually made of glass. Glastonbury, 22 karat gold, a non-tarnish. This is an old Wedgwood piece. I thought about getting it to have China Baroque make a pendant, Imperial Porcelain from Wedgwood, 
intaglio for ten dollars i could have bought it but i just hesitated and probably should have purchased it salt cellars in the lusterware i see some linux ornaments those would be great for vitamins for your medicine made in germany you can use salt cellars in a myriad of ways a mustache mug from germany for 45 dollars that way you don't get a milk mustache linux that's a really neat piece reminds me of the schneeglöckchen in germany lily of the valley and these are definitely going home with me i'm often asked how do you keep candle wax off of the table i use a bobesh here we have six holiday themed glass bobesh with poinsettias they are ten dollars for the set they're a bit newer these are older they're fantastic and i'm getting four for five dollars you simply place this on top of your candle holder candle inside and it catches the wax and it looks pretty it's been great fun shopping the round top antique show so glad you came along and we discovered a new place with blue hills and some fine furnishings thanks again for joining lady mary bath elevate your everyday with the round top antique show